Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a super fun look. So last week, two weeks ago, I posted my Halloween inspired build your own palette using all my single shadows. And this is the palette that I came up with. So this was my take on a Halloween picture that I had. If I can remember, I'll put the picture up here. But um, these are the shadows that I pulled from it to create a palette inspired by the Halloween painting that I chose. So I do already have a video posted with these shadows and I'll link it right up here. And that video has me going through and picking out all of the shadows. This is my palette of the month and for November and December I will also have a palette of the month based on some kind of painting or picture using my single shadows. Today I'm doing a really fun um, orangey black look. So this one is really meant to be a really fun Halloween look. So if you're new here, I create very colorful looks that I intend to wear out and about. Um, if you like wearing colorful makeup, then I try to create them so that you can recreate them at home. Um, this look, I don't know if you're going to recreate this. This might be one that you re recreate just to wear at Halloween. For me, this look is more very Halloween specific and a little bit more detailed. So that's way too much explanation. I may end up pulling a matte black shade into this one. I don't have any matte blacks in single shadows because that's not something I need to purchase in a single shadow because I have them in so many of my palettes. So I may end up pulling that in for this look, but other than that, I should be pretty good with what I have got in my palette. But I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get started. I just primed my eyes with the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. And then I'm gonna get started with a fluffy blending brush. This is a Morphe 573. And I'm going to take this lighter orange shade right here, which is... Coastal Sense Light Tangerine. And that is going to be my transition shade. So just blending this out, going in with a couple layers because I really want this shade to pop. I want all of my shades to really pop with this look today. And then I'm also going to go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This is a Morphe 507. And this, I'm going to take that same color because I want to bring it a little bit around the inner corner. That other brush was just too big for this. And then I'm going to stick with this brush and pull in my darker orange shade, which is bratty from ColourPop and this is going to go into the crease and I'm just using this smaller brush because I don't want to blend it out as much I want to really get this into the crease area and I want you to be able to see that there's a variation of orange shades and I'm mostly just patting this shade on because I want the color to be really pigmented. I'm not doing a ton of blending with this shade. That's where I want my oranges for now. Next, let me swatch my black shades that I, my darker shades that I have in here. I'm going to use both of them. So here's what I've got. This is from Amy Hart's Beauty and this is BSC. I think it's like black. Was it Black Scaredy Cat? I don't really know. This is Dark Knight from Touch of Glam. So I'm, I think I'm going to start with this one and see what I can get that built up where I want it. And I might, that may be where I pull in a, you know what, I'm going to start with a matte black. And then I'm going to put this shade on top of the matte black. This is my Naked Basics palette and it's got blackjack right here. So that is the one I'm going to use for this. So I want to do a little kind of bat wing over here. Bat wing? Yeah, that's what it's called. So I've got my, I just have a gel liner. This is my Ulta one um, in blackout. And I'm going to draw where hopefully this will work out okay. And my fine lines won't get in the way. Okay, so just like that, and that's 
some of my black powder is going to go in there. Now I need a very tiny brush, so I'm going to pull out. Oh, geez. I think I'm going to use this one. This is the Coastal Sense BRCS. 53 brush and it's just a tiny little brush and that's what I'm going to take black out on and we're just going to see how much I can get this built up in this little area to make it look the way I want it. Ooh, that's a good black. So I'm just building that up to kind of be this area here. I feel like my fine lines got a little bit in the way of that looking exactly how I wanted it to. All right, let me build up here. For pretty much everything I'm doing from this point on is going to be very detailed, and I'm going to need very small brushes for it. So I'm just looking for a small one. This is the Luxie Precision, Precision Crease, and I am going to take that with some ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And the reason I'm putting this down now, I didn't need it for that black because it was so opaque. But the next black that I'm going in with from Amy Hart's Beauty is not as opaque as this one. So, and it's okay if this covers this some because Amy Hart's Beauty one is going to blend in some with this one. This is just going to create a cut crease here. You can see that I'm not being totally precise down here on the lower part, but I do have want it to be more precise in the cut crease area. I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Detailer brush for this black part here. And I'm taking my Amy Hearts Beauty BSC. We're just going to see how this one... Oh, that should blend pretty nice. So this has a little bit more of a gray tone to it. It's not as shimmery as I thought it would be either. And then that other one from Touch of Glam, I want, I want it to be kind of like a half moon is the best way to describe it. So this one I'm going to bring in... down here and then the touch of glam one's going to kind of highlight this area right here. I'm going to go back in with my brush that I used the black on and just bring a little bit more onto here and blend it into where this grayish one is. And then I've got a Sigma inner corner blending brush. This is an E46. I'm going to take this shade here from what was it Dark Knight? Dark Knight from Touch of Glam. It's a very crumbly shade. And that's going to go right here. So that is what I want on my upper lid. I do need to go in. I brought out a little tiny... Um, pencil brush. I'm going to go back in with the darker orange shade Bratty and I just had a little concealer pop out here. Bratty is also going to go on the lower lash line. Okay. So fun! I love it. I'm going to see I'm going to do the other eye. I'm going to see if I've got something silvery for the waterline. I should have something in my collection that's kind of silver for the waterline. And I'm going to do my tight line in black and put a little mascara on and be back to show you that look. And then I will go back in and put some lashes on as well. So I went ahead and found this LA Girl Glide On Gel in Silver Streak. And this is what I put in the waterline for this look. I put my L'Oreal lash paradise on and I want to go in 
with my little makeup remover pen. Okay, so this black has got some blackish gold in it. So I'm gonna put a little blackish gold around the wing, but I wanna go in and clean it up a little bit because I kind of felt like, what side was it? This side got a little messy. So this is my e.l.f. eye makeup remover pen. And it just helps me like get those really detailed little areas. This one looks pretty okay. And I've got my Heavy Metal or Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. I'm just lining right around. That gives it just kind of a finished little look there. On my lips, I put on the Flower Beauty Nude Lip Liner in... Nude. <laughs> and then I put the Fuel Lipstick from Urban Decay. It's just got kind of an orangey tint for a nude. I think a black lipstick would look really pretty with this like on Halloween. I don't have a black lipstick and I do typically prefer to wear a nude lip when I've got a very intricate, intricate eye look on. Now I do want to put lashes on with this. I mean with the black on my lids you can not even see that I have lashes on. Uh, that I have lashes. Period. So I'm going to pop some lashes on and then be back to show you guys the final look. Back with the lashes on you guys. I love this so so much it is such a fun Halloween look and that's definitely what it is meant to be so today I put on these lily lashes in Miami and I'm still kind of figuring out what I think about them I'm not quite sure if I like them or not they feel very heavy this is today's final look with my Halloween inspired palette I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you guys love doing holiday or Halloween specific looks I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one bye